didn't think that first goal was going to be crucial if it went to us or them. I thought the first half, you know, it was a tight match, not not much in it. We never actually got into, we never found our rhythm and our momentum in terms of with the ball, but yeah, we have to give credit to Portugal. They defended very well and they killed the space. Um, and we found it difficult at times in the first 45 minutes to open the game up. But that's credit to Portugal. And that first goal was going to be crucial. And I think we just lost our concentration um, just for five minutes. And then when you're up against the quality in this, this tournament, especially in a semi-final like Portugal, then you're going to get punished. And unfortunately, uh, you know, that they capitalise on that. But... You win and you lose. We've done plenty of winning. It's our turn tonight to, to lose. It's not a nice feeling. But congratulations to Portugal. And I hope they go and uh, and they and they win they win the final. Okay, question up there. Turn Hello, John Cross from the Daily Mirror. Um, can I just ask you, ask you, Chris, what what you said to the players in the dressing room afterwards? Because they must have given you so much pride over the course of the tournament. Yeah, um, immensely proud of them. You know, I can't can't tell them how, how proud I am of the team. They've incredible uh, what they've done and how they've performed. I, I think you know to get in the semi-finals is amazing. But I think in the, it's the nature in which they've, they've achieved that. You know. Um, you know, they've always, in every game they've gone into, um, the only game actually we didn't do it was, was the England game, which we lost, where we never really showed showed what we are. You know, we never showed our identity. But the other games, that's what they've done. And you can only ask, I've said before, you can only ask someone or their best, you know. And that's it. You, you win or you lose. And if you lose but you're giving your best, that's, that's how it goes, unfortunately. So it was our turn tonight to lose. But I've told the players that it's not... Whenever the end date was of this tournament, it's not the end for this group of players, you know. They'll be there a lot longer than I will be there as a manager, no doubt. Um, this is a, it was another, another test for us tonight, another challenge. We never came through this one, but we've come through some big ones previously. And when we look back over the whole tournament, it's great experience, you know. As much as we've always wanted to be at a tournament, it's completely different to what we expected, I think, if we're being honest. You know, it's the, the, the different challenges. It's not just the game and preparing the game. It's There's all sorts of different elements that you don't take into consideration unless you've been together for six or seven weeks, planning, preparing, trying to keep a, a positive vibe, trying to keep the players who haven't been playing positive and We've, we faced all sorts of challenges as a, as a squad and as a group, and they've come through every one, you know. One tonight was one, one too far for us, but I've told them how, how proud I am of them. The nation's proud of them. I think once they settle down a bit in the next day or so, they, they, they'll be proud of themselves and they'll look back. But it's not the time for us to go, right, you know, let's rip everything up and how are we going to prepare for the next campaign? We know what we're good at. We don't change what we, you know, what's got us in the first place. We've got to go into the next campaign with the same hunger.